Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got some more Modern Warfare gameplay for you because I refuse to play Black Ops 4 due to its monetization practices and unfortunately today's video is about Black Ops 4. I think that many of you have seen the news already about Blackout going pay to win, but with yesterday's patch it does appear that at least pay for advantage is here and this is closer to pay to win than any COD game has ever been. So briefly, let me explain what happened. In yesterday's patch, Blackout was updated to include Blackjack's stash. Now Blackjack is the guy who deals you your contraband stream and your loot boxes and that kind of stuff. It says Blackjack stash now available to find and open in limited time modes. Players can unlock only one of Blackjack stashes per match containing black market weapons currently in the player's collection. That may not sound too bad and definitely not pay to win, but guys, please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna try to go through this to the best of my knowledge, and if I make a mistake, I'll take the video down because I don't want to spread false info. But as far as I can tell, that means that if you don't have any contraband items, weapons, which is now mostly loot boxes and less battle pass tiers, you can't get them in stashes. So when you go play Battle Royale, your weapon stashes in Battle Royale are inherently tied to your microtransaction purchases and your performance in multiplayer, or grinding in multiplayer for that matter. So if you did not purchase these weapons, you can't use them in Battle Royale, but other players that did purchase them can. However, if you purchased all of the weapons, they will be available to you, and I assume that if you open a stash box and you didn't own anything, it'll just be like attachments and ammo and stuff like that. So they're only going to be available to the people that bought them in a Battle Royale game. And to me, that looks like just paying to get better loot. And while that isn't exactly pay to win, because you're not just going to clobber free players with like quadruple health and OP weapons, you are going to have an advantage over free, well, this isn't free to play, uh, lesser paying customers have a disadvantage compared to the high paying whales. And it's definitely scummy. And paying for better odds to get an advantage is, is just, it's the death knell of any game. This is where games go when they give up hope and they're just trying to grab as much cash as possible. The question you're going to say is, well, why did this happen? Why? I've been a loyal COD fan for years. I've played, I bought the supply drops, what's going on? And the answer is simple. Activision needs more money. Black Ops 4 underperformed in long-term microtransaction sales and in player counts. That's pretty much public record in the uh, like shareholder documents. They've been complaining about it, and they've been increasingly trying to find a way to pump more microtransaction money out of the game because Activision shareholders demand a certain return on investment, and Activision has to do something to please these shareholders, else their stock price, which is what they tie all their value to, is going to drop. It's going to plummet. So the only reasonable thing to do is to try to make more money on microtransactions or try to make more money with less people. And today you just happen to be one of those less people that they want to make more money off of. So they want to charge you more for a game that you've probably already paid a lot for. Your opinions do not matter. Mine don't matter either. Corporations only care about shareholders and not customers. You as the customer have no voice. Only the shareholders matter in this equation. And I can sit here and talk and complain about microtransactions and, and monetizing COD and all that kind of stuff until I am blue in the face and you know just foaming mad and raving and doing crazy little skits and stuff, but nothing will change. I know nothing will change because I've tried. I've tried everything in my power to do for years. I have, God, I've, it's my hill to die on. I've just about thrown my entire career away and YouTube channel and everything to leave COD and do other stuff. And my, I, I know that a lot of you want to change COD for the better. And if you do, I have one simple solution for you. Just quit and play a different game. That's it. Right now I'm telling you to quit playing COD today because there's no point. You're just going to get pumped for more money. You giving up Call of Duty drops player counts even lower and lowers microtransaction revenues to unsustainable levels. When there is no possible way for Activision to squeeze any more money out of its customers, when it just about doesn't have any customers left, they have to adopt a different strategy. And that's the only time the different strategy is coming. It's not going to come from a Reddit post. It's not going to come from a hashtag on Twitter. It's not coming from this YouTube video. I can, I can tell you because people don't care. The only way that this will change is if you just quit playing Call of Duty to a, a magnitude that that stock price tanks and they panic and they have to do something. Ain't nobody reading your change.org petition. 
Ain't nobody reading the angry comments on Reddit. They are reading that bottom line, red or black, and they want to be in the black. The only way to force change is to just play a different game and let them enjoy their own little hell of microtransactions. That's exactly what I did. I haven't played Black Ops 4 since January, which is a shame because I kind of like the game, but I can't support the system. I've been mostly on Apex Legends, League of Legends, and a little bit of Modern Warfare Remastered for context and videos like this. And honestly, I'm happier for it because it makes me feel gross to play a game that costs so much to play and a game that feels like its only purpose is to extract more money from me and that the people that made it don't care about anything about making money and customer experiences be damned you can just spend more money that's that's the game now it's money ball it's it's kind of crazy so I do plan to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare when it comes out but I promise you the very moment that I see something like this the very moment the first baby step on anti-consumer crap I'm gone again permanent complete shutdown no in-depth no videos and this time never to return to the franchise this, I think, is my hill to die on. For those of you that don't know, this channel is largely funded by Call of Duty. My lifestyle, my house, my cars, uh, all the things that I do for my family, my personal comforts, this, this clothing, everything has been mostly funded under the Call of Duty brand because though I make Call of Duty videos. If I didn't make Call of Duty videos, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. But I'm willing to throw away all of that. My I'm just willing to absolutely burn myself, to fall into irrelevancy, to shut down the channel, to have to go get a real job, to be a less dependable husband, to be uh, anything. I will destroy myself so that I do not have to participate in such a crummy system because I will burn everything in my life before I burn my own morality. So I'm just playing other games. I'm making it like a big deal and it, you know, it's a bigger deal for me than you guys, but I'm just going to go play other games and have fun and try other stuff and I'm just not going to participate in this crap. And I think that is the absolute best way for all of you to do so moving forward. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Hope you learned something useful and hope I hope I don't see you on Black Ops 4. Drifter out.